Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am super excited to bring you guys this video today. It was the second most voted for in our Upcycle Games round two. You guys have been waiting for it and I put my own little twist to it as usual. So I'm super excited to share it with you. Let's get right into the video. All right, so I have four pairs of jeans. I just went into my stash of denim and found four different colors. I didn't have exactly what the inspiration pick had, but I just picked what I had and I had enough. And a lot of people have been asking me what I do with my pieces. This is what I do. I don't purposely try to make something to go with the piece that I just made. That's just not me. I keep all my remnants because I always, they always come in handy sooner or later. So we're gonna start with these four pieces, but first we need to take a couple measurements. And you wanna make sure you write all these measurements down. The first measurement you're going to take, do you wanna find the smallest part of your waist. <laughs> and you start with there and then you go down how long you want your skirt to be. That's 20 inches. And from that same point, you also want to measure up to how far you want it to go in the front. And that's eight inches for me. And you also want to measure your bust minus 37, measure the smallest part of your waist, minus 33, and your hips, the biggest part of your hips, the fullest part of your hips and mine is 40. All right, once you have all of those written down, now we can go cut some denim. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you won't miss a thing. We're on our way to 1 million and we're doing amazing things here. So also share to let everyone know all the amazing stuff going on here. All right, so let's talk about this for the second. This is the top, this is the bottom of the dress. And we did that measurement from the small of our waist down and then from that point up. I did this in order to figure out what pieces I need to cut and how big they need to be. And so these are my two bottom pieces. This line is that flat fell seam that I want to be even on each side. From the top down, mine is 20. So I just added two inches to make sure that I have seam allowance and they all need to be at least 12 inches wide. And the reason it needs to be 12 inches because the biggest part of me, which is my hips is 40 inches. If I divide that by four, that's 10 inches and then add seam allowance, two inches, that's 12 inches each. I definitely am going to make them even bigger than 12 inches because I don't want this overall dress to be tight. These are the two pieces that I am going to use for the bottom of the skirt. The first thing I want to do is identify the part that is the smallest and I want to cut so that I'm going straight up parallel to this line here. All right, so the fastest way to cut your second side will be just to use your first side as a pattern. So I'm just gonna make sure I line these seams up and cut this out. All right, so now we have the bottom of our dress. Let's cut our top pieces. All right, for the back pieces, since all the pieces need to be either curved or angled because of our bust and because of the difference between this measurement and that measurement, then we need four pieces of each color. So four pieces, one, two, and then two for the back, one, two, and then two for the back. So I'm gonna cut four pieces at 10 inches long and at least, at least six inches wide. All right, since I used the short pieces on here, um, I'm gonna leave them connected for right now, but it's essentially four pieces, one, two, three, four. Now I have to arrange everything like a jigsaw puzzle to make sure that the colors are pleasing, I guess. All right, so this is how I want it. And I want to make sure, I probably should use my heat erasable markers and just denote on the inside of the fabric what piece is what piece. All right, so we're gonna work with the front first. So that means I need to take all of my back pieces away. They have been marked. So hopefully I won't get anything confused. All right, so we're gonna do the bra trick again. We've done this in a couple of videos in order to make the curves on like bustiers and different things like that. We're gonna use it in the same way. So let's turn everything over so that once we pin, it can be what we actually sew. We are going to line up our skirt pieces and put the bra so that the middle seam is lined up with the middle seam of the bra. And actually we're gonna draw in a bit because of our seam allowance for the zipper. Then we're gonna lay our pieces inside out and we can lay it over the bra and make sure that we pin so that this seam lines up with that seam. And then we work our way up, adding in the curve of the chest. 
And once you get this in, you can definitely place it over your chest. To just make sure, you know, I like double check. So basically when we sew, this is gonna have, because my chest isn't very big, it's gonna have a small curve out here and then it's gonna go shallow right here. All right, let me do the other side as well. So now I can go sew in both my curves and come back to the table. Now we have our little bust curve in. Now we can lay these seams on top of one another and sew each side together have my pieces together there we have a lot of excess I'm going to go ahead and cut the excess off so that we can put our zipper in the middle I have this zipper as usual I took it out of another garment that um, I used and didn't need the zipper it is a separating zipper so in order to put the first side in I'm gonna go ahead and completely detach this side I'm going to fold the zipper over here line it up I definitely want to make sure I leave enough room for my hem at the top and I'm going to go ahead and attach the zipper. Alright, so I've done one side. Now I need to put the zipper back together. And the important part of this is that these two seams line up. So. I want to make sure that I lay this zipper on top of here so that these two seams line up. Then we're going to go to the sewing machine and sew this side of the zipper in. And when I begin to sew this side of the zipper, I'm going to begin with the seam right here and then go down and then come back and go up. The same thing that I did for all the other ones to make sure that my seams match up because I don't want to start up here and risk this stretch denim doing what stretch fabric does and stretching. You, you absolutely want to as much as you can try not to stretch your fabric as you're sewing but inevitably it happens and so for a seam to be perfectly where you want it to be you have to start in that place and then go down and then come back and go the other direction. All right, so let's conquer the back. The first thing we need to do is connect these two pieces. I probably could have left this one connected. All right, so I am back. I am ready to connect the pieces. We can lay this seam to seam and seam to seam. Sew it together here. Now we can fold one side on top of the other and then we can sew it all the way down. That's the back piece. As you're doing this, you can also serge your edges as you go along. We're gonna lay the back piece on top of the front piece. And if you can see, like the bottoms match up on each side, but I accidentally flipped the tops of the back side, and so they don't match up, but I'm happy about that because that's actually what I wanted. But I'm gonna match these up, try to get the middle lined up. And in order to do a final fitting on this, we wanna just put in two arbitrary seams on each side. So I'm going to put one on this side and one on this side. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to fit this to yourself if you do not have a dress form. And once again, you want to make sure that you line up your seams as closely as you possibly can. All right, so I have it on inside out. And now what I want to do is add pins to the side and you know like pinch it add pins so that it fits me how i want i really want it to be fitted in the waist and then i think flare out on the sides it is a stretch of material so i could make this thing fit it all the way through we will see what i want to do is take my pen and just mark where these pins are and then i can get it all like lined up properly from this pan which is at the waist i'm just gonna gently go straight out on like a mod cut we'll see how that works and then we want to make sure that this lines up and then we'll put a pan right there all right so now we can go and add this i don't know like if this should actually be straight or whether i should actually follow this curve i'm gonna go ahead and kind of follow the curve and then try it on again and see how it fits all right here it is on um i should not have done that curve this side didn't have a curve and it is looking good this side is all wiggly woggly which is not words but yeah I, I can go back and make that straight and i also don't have as much fabric on this side 
as I do on this side. So this one gets a little bit of the flare from the actual skirt. And that actual inspiration is like this short. And so it looks really good as like a kind of mod A-line dress, but I'm going to do a fitted dress. I need to turn it inside out and add the pins for the side. And that'll be the last thing before we do the suspender part. All right, so I fitted this <laughs> 50 million times to make it fit just right. And I want to show you guys something. I wanna show you how many times I had to redo my curve because I don't want you guys to get weary in this. It takes, you know, it takes time. So this is the side, down my side. So of course this widest one is when I thought I wanted it to be like a little bit wider at the bottom. And then I took it in, I had this curve right here, but then I had to take it in a little bit more because like I said, I am not hippie. So I had to take it in a little bit more. And then here is all the iterations of me trying to fit it to my waist four times trying to fit it to my waist up at the top. It's not odd to have to fit something some, that many times. So now I'm gonna cut away the excess so that I can serge it and we can do our top stitches. Then I'm also going to serge the top and fold it down and hem it there. And I'm also going to cut this straight. Or actually, I'll probably serge it straight, let the serger cut it, and I'll hem the bottom as well. All right, so now we're gonna cut some straps in order to, you know, for the suspender or overall portion of this. I have my hardware here, and I ordered this on Amazon. The link will be in the description. So I just wanna cut some strips of the denim that eventually will match the width of this overall pull once it's sewn together. It needs to be one and a quarter. If I cut it for the fold, to use the fold, then I just need three inch strips. Because I didn't have the length, I'm just gonna connect them, sew them together, and then fold them over down the length and sew them down. Then I can go iron them, top stitch them, and we can install them onto the dress. All right, so the last thing that we're going to do is install our overall hardware. And I have the button here, I have the hook, and I also have the adjustable loop. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my adjustable loop and loop it through and just let it hang out up towards the top. And then I'll take my hook, take it up, and then back down the flat silver part. Then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna take it back through this right here. And you can always finish adjusting that once you get it on. All right, so let's put in our buttons. This is an all AWL. Then I'm gonna take the bottom piece, the rivet, stick it through the hole, place this on a flat surface, put the button on top and hammer away. Doing my best trying not to hit my hand. And there we go. And if you guys ever get stuck in this process, definitely join my free Facebook group. The link is in the description box. It's just a group of positive upcyclers who cheer each other on when we finish our projects and help each other when we get stuck. And if you want upcycle classes or if you wanna know what videos I'm gonna post before I post them, definitely consider being a member of my members only group. Hit that join button below to learn more. All right, I hope you are ready to see how this thing turned out. I know the reason why we chose to say goodbye, but I can help my feelings. Ah! Hot mama! <laughs> I really, really like this. I knew that it being fitted would definitely flatter my figure better. Um, it would have had to be shorter in order to be like the kind of A-line shape. So if you're using stretchy denim, I would definitely maybe make it a more fitted dress rather than the A-line. But yes, this is definitely gonna be one of my go-to dresses when I'm looking for something like this. So definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. I have a whole host of videos over here for you, including how I tie-dye. Um, I just did this Adidas shirt. I hope you like it, so definitely go check it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!